predictions and manifestations for your Lionsgate 8-8 portal fully disclosed. Hey, dreamy dreamers. Welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is a pick a card on predictions and manifestations for the 2023 Lionsgate portal with the emphasis on 8-8, which is the peak of the Lionsgate portal. We have four piles, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. Pile number one, we have the south node with this line with this um, tiger's eye crystal heart. Pile number two, we have the sixth house card with this tiger's eye pointed tower. Pile number three, we have this square transit with this golden stone star. And pile number four, we have card Scorpio with this mini tiger's eye crystal. Okay, so I'll give you all some time to meditate on your pile selections. All right, dreamy dreamers. So again, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. I love you all so much and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hey, pile number ones. Welcome back to your reading. So before we get started with your pile selection and your crystal, let's shuffle for your reading. If you'd like to skip this part, your timestamp will be in the description box down below. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing, blessing these cards, for blessing pile number ones uh, with predictions and manifestations coming in for the Lionsgate portal. Predictions and manifestations for our pile number ones during this Lionsgate 8-8 portal. Okay, so it could be a time to party, pile number ones. <laughs> Clear, concise, accurate manifestations for pile number ones during this 8-8 Lionsgate portal spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to do, let's do six cards. Thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages for pile number ones. Predictions and manifestations coming in for our pile number ones during this 8-8 Lionsgate portal spirit. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Predictions and manifestations for our pile number ones. 8-8 Lionsgate portal. What's coming in for our pile number ones? Predictions and manifestations for pile number ones. 8-8 Lionsgate portal. Predictions and manifestation. All right. For our pile number ones. Lionsgate portal spirit. Predictions and manifestations. Thank you. So, okay, pile number one. So let's start your reading. All right, so welcome back to your readings, pile number one. So you all chose the south node card from the heavenly body astrology deck with destined to release so for those of you all who aren't familiar with the south node the south node is basically like almost like who we were in a past life right so like it's always going to be the opposite sign of your north node and the opposite side of the north node is whatever opposite sign it is whatever the opposite zodiac sign is for that sign. So for example, my North Node is in Capricorn, my South Node is in Cancer. So with Destined to Release South Node, I feel like you're destined to release uh, old parts of you that you've already perfected, pile number ones, that you've already mastered, and to fulfill those parts that you 
have incarnated on earth to fulfill, which is a whole part of your destiny, your North node to venture towards that right so with the south node destined to release and with the uh tiger's eye crystal heart what i'm getting is a lot of you all are protected uh especially in your heart space for the things that you desire for the things that you want for the things that your hearts your heart is leading you to right now pile number ones and i feel like what your heart is leading you to is um to really fulfill the destiny of your north node and know that it is safe to release the things uh in your past right that have just played out its natural course and that you know might at this time no longer be serving you or you know just no longer be a part of the mission okay you are safe in releasing that is what i'm getting okay so let's put your crystal and your um pile selection card here and get into your reading straight away so we have a grand symphony card number 27 we have card number eight into me c which is interesting because card number eight is a part of the eight eight portal so it's the peak of uh, the Lionsgate portal, which opened on July 26th and which closes out on August 12th. In our last card, we have card number four, great and full. So a lot of you are, um, oh, a lot of you are going to be very grateful for feeling free to express yourself to feeling free to express who you are in your totality and all the intimate parts of you that you've been very reluctant to reveal pile number ones is what I'm getting. I feel like that's ending. That's coming to an end with card number 27, two and seven, that's nine. So it's definitely something wrapping up. You could even find yourself like having like this soundtrack to your life or something like that, playing more classical music, like almost like playing like this orchestrated or like this orchestra symphony in your in your mind right or in your mind's eye and almost like curating a soundtrack to how you want something to be released in your life okay and I feel like your angels, ancestors, and guides are really, um, really speaking to you right now to know that it is safe to release any and everything that no longer serves you and or that not even just no longer serves you, that's just played its natural course, right? It's just, it's kind of like how uh, folks used to say it's played out, right? It's played its natural course. So with card number eight into me, see, I feel like you feel very okay and uh, uh, and uh, validated with being uh, uh, vulnerable, even with yourself, right? With expressing those traits of your vulnerability because you ultimately know, pile number one, is that your vulnerability is your superpower, right? And it's funny because I say into me see, but this card says into me I see. And with all the hoopla going on <laughs> in the news about aliens being real or non-human beings, whatever, coming in, I feel like some of you all may have even shared space with aliens and haven't, you know, didn't even realize it, you know, or maybe you kind of like, had a feeling, but you never really were validated on those feelings. You kind of just kept them to yourself for the, you know, chance of looking or being deemed as crazy or like, you know, weird or something like that. Oh my gosh, did y'all see that? Anyways, so as I proceed, <laughs> I know y'all seen that flicker. So that is definitely a sign because I did not. I didn't budge. But anyways, long story short. So I always say this card looks very alien. It just looks very alien. Like, look, this looks like the spacecraft around it. And then this, this barely looks like a human. It looks like an angel or an Andromedan human or something like that. So into me, I see some of you all could have been very intimate with like, a non human or like a subhuman or something like that. And, uh, I don't know. It brought something out of you that you didn't realize until now in this 8-8 portal. The peak of the 8-8 portal is going to allow you to be vulnerable with yourself and maybe even recognizing that or admitting it to yourself for the first time. So obviously that's going to um, resonate with some, not all, maybe like one person. 
you know, so yeah, but with great and full, there is harmony coming into play and, you know, you're establishing a lot of balance during this A8 portal, during this Lionsgate portal, especially during the peak, you're going to feel so enriched in life. You're going to feel so validated, so vindicated, pile number ones. You're going to feel very full and grateful and you're going to be practicing gratitude more so than ever, I feel like, um, because your life is really going to feel very like musical, very whimsy, very like blessed, okay, during this 8-8 portal. But let's, um, let's reveal some more cards, pile number um Pile number um, one. Sorry about that. So let's see. We have card number nine with Nyx and two and seven. That's nine. So we have nine, nine. There's definitely something kind of like coming to a head here or kind of ending. And I feel like you're also, there is this like sense during this A8 portal or during this Lionsgate portal with card number nine, Nyx, you're going to be very in tune with your divine feminine pile number ones. You're going to be very in tune with that dark shadowy aspect of your your personality, but it's going to be in a very like beautiful, symbiotic, very like mysterious, sexy, um, drawn to you type of way, right? Okay, let's reveal this card. And then we have card number 42, four and two, that's six with moth. So with moths, always get like transition with moths always get like there's this like peak in this transitionary period but we have these moths sorry pile number ones we have this these moths here mirroring each other right and then we have the moon cycle so again um the moon cycles are going to be very important during the peak of this uh lionsgate portal 8 8 and i think it's interesting that the center of this this reading right now is into me see and we have this alien-esque type of figure in the middle so some of you all might be seeing aliens during this 8 8 portal and you're like going to know it like as soon as you see it you're gonna know it pile number ones you're not gonna be confused you're like that's an alien that is not a human that what what is happening right you're gonna see it and i feel like it's because you're so tapped into the divine you're so tapped into the other side of the veil there is no veil for you 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 there is no veil for you pile number ones because some of you all might be readers, some of you all might be energy readers, light workers, tarot readers, or something like that, to the point where you're just tapped into the other side. Hence these moths, right? I do want to read a tiny bit from the Spirit Allies book about moths, because I just I want more information. So let's see. We have card number 42. I embrace transformation. Like I said, transition, transformation. There's definitely something heightened here. And there's going to be huge transformations in your, in your life. And, in um, yeah, yeah. Pile number, um, one. So it says as it, as its delicate wings take to the starlit skies, that's so funny, uh, like ribbons, the moth is a sight to behold. Like the butterfly, it too emerges from metamorphosis as a winged beauty. It flutters through the sky in magic and wonder. A period of great transformation is upon you. To reap its full benefits, you must be willing to embrace the darkness of the unknown and trust you'll come through the experience as an even more incredible version of yourself. This is this transformation. This is this transition period that you're entering to. And it's interesting because like they say the butterfly in this and they compare it. And these look like angel wings coming from the head of this extraterrestrial. This is an extraterrestrial. I don't care what nobody says. <laughs> so cats out the bag, pile number ones, cats out the bag. So, um, Again, it says allow yourself to witness and appreciate how major changes provide deep clarity about who you truly are. While sudden shifts and adjustments may feel like you've been thrown off your path, have trust in the divine. You are exactly where you need to be. Any recent shifts will only help to keep you moving forward. When one door closes, another opens opportunity opportunities for growth are available to you in the now. And if you guys would like to get out your handy dandy crazy dreamer tarot journal definitely write down this journal prompt so it says where in my life could i benefit from surrendering to allow change so there's a lot of emphasis on change here pile number uh ones and like being vulnerable 
amidst the change okay if that makes any sense so let's pull some tarot let's let's get into your tarot cards right now okay so let's see we have nine of cups beautiful we have queen of pentacles yes pile number ones we have knight of cups we have three of wands We have Nine of Swords, and we have the Moon. Come on, so so many semblance of the Moon right now. It's not even funny. So pile number ones. The only major arcana that we have in all six of these um, tarot cards is the Moon. So there is going to be a lot of mystery, a lot of almost like deep subconscious uh programmings coming to the surface during this Lionsgate portal you're gonna feel it okay pile number ones just fyi those are the predictions now you're about to manifest big a lot of you all have been uh, wanting to manifest a certain amount of money a certain amount of income a certain amount of wealth or even like abundance when it comes to love right the only cups card well i won't say the only cups we have two cups card here the nine of cups and the knight of cups right but the only cup card that this that this person this figure is holding is the knight of cups and i just get great and full so with that being said there's going to be um a lot of mystery sh shrouded or surrounding uh this a a portal when it comes to you and when it comes to your manifestations but i feel like you're gonna know like something's going to symbolize your ships coming in right especially with the three of wands and uh i feel like um, I'm filming this literally during the night of uh, the Aquarius full moon. Uh, I forgot to go outside tonight. I really did want to take a look at the moon, but it's okay. Long story short, um, I'm filming this during the Aquarius full moon. So I feel like you're really going to feel the peak of like your manifestation start to bubble up to the surface during uh, August 1st, which I'm filming this during the uh, Aquarius excuse me, the Aquarius full moon, but I feel like the manifestations after the Aquarius full moon is going to tr start trickling in to towards the eighth, which is the peak of the Lionsgate portal where the uh, stars are aligned with Sirius, right? Which is the, the key star, um, I think, uh, what is it called? The, the key star that, you know, is going to be very prevalent. And I feel like, look, there's a star in the middle of this figure's forehead. Let me gently pick this up. Boom. Star right there. So, like, y'all are going to feel this Lionsgate portal like no other. It's going to bring in a lot of abundance and a lot of manifestations for you. However, it's also going to bring up some subconscious, like, deep-seated subconscious, like, lingerings and mysteries and, like, um, almost like shadow aspects of your personality that maybe you didn't realize were there or that you are releasing, right? As you're transitioning into this period of abundance and uh, calling in the things that you want, pile number ones, okay? So with the Nine of Cups and the Queen of pentacles you're definitely manifesting wealth you're definitely manifesting abundance you're definitely manifesting plenty now with this knight of cups i feel like you are in the pursuits of your passion as well you know you're you're headed towards where your heart is leading you right especially with this knight of cups here like this knight of cups is literally being led by the heart right and the heart is crowned, right? So it's like wherever, like their heart is 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 king. So wherever their heart is wise, right? Wherever this their heart leads them, they're going to go, you know. Um, and so that's that's really the emphasis of this A8 portal for you, or this Lionsgate A8 portal. Uh, the peak of your manifestation is really uh, coming into play, and you are really being led by your heart center, okay? Which, you know, it's safe for you to, right? With the, um, 
with the um, Tiger's Eye Crystal Heart here. So with the Three of Wands, you're 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 preparing for your ships to come. Although because of this being shrouded in darkness in a sense pile number ones there could still be some fears that you know am i gonna get the things that i've been asking for am i gonna get the things that i've been manifesting but you are they're just that fears they're just um you know thought thought forms right and joseph murphy always talks about never finish a negative thought, especially if it's about finances, like interrupt it, right? Flip the script immediately, pile number ones. And I feel like that's what you guys are uh, working on doing during um, this Lionsgate por portal, especially during the peak of it on 8-8. Eight eight. Okay, so let's reveal the last cards here. So we have regeneration card number 17, again, with a number eight, one and seven, that's eight. So we, there's definitely emphasis on the eight, eight portal, even just through this, um, even just through this, um, excuse me, pile number ones through this, uh, regeneration card here. Okay. So we have tarragon and we have, uh, the symbol of Aries here. We have this beaker and we have the fire symbol here. So I feel like a lot of you guys feel the fire now. You feel the momentum paramounting, right? And you feel regenerated. Like you feel like you could take on the world. You feel like you can accomplish, do, have, and be anything you want right now. And I feel like that's where the shadow aspect is coming into play. You definitely feel yourself regenerating, transforming, right? And, uh, at times, it might not be the most comfortable, but I feel like you're well equipped to handle it because this is something that you've been asking for. Now, I also see that we have literally, oh my gosh, we have 999. Okay, so card number nine with Nick. All right. Hey, pile number ones. Welcome back to your reading. So sorry for the interruption. Now let's begin. So with a gener with regeneration and the herb tarragon, there's definitely going to be this uptake in your in your like your energetic field in, you know, you really absorbing a uh, source energy to um, use the energy that you have and uh accelerate your progress and growth okay so let's reveal the last um green witch oracle card and we have card number 25 this has been like a reoccurring card in the last couple um reading so I think that's really interesting. And I think it also signifies a time for cleansing, getting rid of toxic habits, uh, things that I know this term is just so overly used, but it's just, it's relevant. It applies, right? The things that no longer serve us, because once we transcend those things, we can make room for the things that we're actually calling in, right? Or for the circumstances or for the abundance or for the happiness or for the peace that we're calling in, okay? And I also see some candlesticks here. Um, so this could be talking about candle magic too, cleansing your space, cleansing your auric field as well, right? With lemon citrus, some of you might have tinctures or something that you can do to even like, you know, spray a lemon balm around or like make a lemon balm tea and like kind of like do a ritual in which you uh, visualize your inside, you're being cleansed from the inside out, pile number ones, okay? And then we have card number 25 again, which is seven. So yes, let's also pull some life purpose oracle cards to get more information on predictions and manifestations coming in for you during this Lionsgate portal, during this 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate portal, Spirit. Tell us more, Spirit. What manifestations and predictions are coming in for our pile number ones during this 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate portal? All right. Okay, so... Thank you guys. See, now we have spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. So some of you all who are well-versed in the spiritual, some of you all who are tarot readers, oracle card readers, you guys might find an 
uptake in your clientele during um during this time okay so you could be doing seminars you could be doing classes you could be doing sessions you know and i feel like that's really going to help to solidify your um that's really going to help to solidify your abundance as well the abundance that you're calling in but let's see tell us more spirit okay okay Oh, wow. We have school. Okay. So we have spiritual teacher and school. So it says the answer that you're seeking involves going to school. So some of you all could be like, you could be going back to school, but I also feel like some of you all might be refreshing your knowledge on the spiritual teachings that you have learned in the past. Right? So with that what I mean by that is uh, some of you all might start listening back to lectures or like, you know, kind of like proverbially going back to school, proverbially freshening up on um, seminars, um, lectures or guidance that, uh, you know, you used to listen to a lot and maybe you find yourself not really uh, engaging with that much uh, nowadays. OK, so I feel like there could be an uptake or some of you all might be going back to school to uh, actual school, like an institutional uh, four year college or something like that, just to, you know, uh, spruce up your your knowledge on things. Right. But I'm really getting I'm kind of leaning towards um, the former there, okay? But let's see. Let's get one more card. Last card, Spirit, for our pile number ones. Predictions and manifestation. Hold on, wait. So I guess Spirit already chose. So this was here as well. We have author. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make time to write it. So a lot of you all are going to be culminating a lot of knowledge that you have, you know, learned in the past years, however long you've been accumulating spiritual knowledge. And really what your goal is, and it could be culminating to the point um, during the 8-8 portal peak, right, which is on August 8th, is you're going to make sure that you start like writing your book and uh there could be a spiritual component to the book as well pile number ones okay so you could be writing about manifestation you could be writing about like spiritual laws you could be writing about you know how to attract things to you something along those lines and even just having a closer relationship with god spirit source energy right you could be writing about all those things and I feel like you're really guided here. So utilize the resources made available to you and uh, the world is your oyster, my pile number ones, okay? So with that being said, my dreamy dreamers, I love you all so much. I really hope this message resonated with you. If it did, please give this reading a like, uh, a subscribe, a thumbs up and share it with anyone who you think would best benefit from the messages provided here today. If you are interested in a beautiful one of a kind tarot journal, look no further. The link to this journal will be in the description box down below. It's only 20 bucks and Amazon will ship it straight to your house. So without further delay, I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pal twos. Welcome back to your reading. So before we get started on your Pile selection and your crystal. Let's pull your cards. So, for those who would like to skip this part of the reading, your timestamp will be listed in the description down below. Okay, so I've already shuffled off camera. Let's begin. Clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit, about predictions and manifestations coming into our pile number twos during this Lionsgate 88 portal peak spirit. Predictions and manifestations coming into our pile number twos during this Lionsgate 88 portal peak. Oh, wow. There's a whole bunch of cards jumping out pile number twos for you guys. But like they're kind of having a hard time coming out, if that makes sense. Clear, concise, accurate messages, manifestations, and predictions <laughs> during this Lionsgate 88 portal peak for our pile number two spirit. Okay, let's do this one. Thank you. Okay. 
clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit, for our pile number twos, manifestations and predictions coming in during this Lionsgate 88 portal peak. Thank you and thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit, for our pile number twos. Predictions and manifestations coming in for them during the Lionsgate AA Portal Peak. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. All right, let's begin. Okay, pile number ones. So let's get started. Pile number twos, excuse me. Okay, so let's get started. So pile number twos, you all have an extraordinary, <laughs> extraordinarily unique pile, right? Three cards came out, okay? So you all got the sixth house with establishing a foundation, health, daily life, and practical details. You also got the second house with physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. And you guys got the sign Virgo with integrity, reverence, and service. So ultimately, pile number two is what I'm getting about manif uh, predictions and manifestations coming your way during this A8, Lionsgate 88 portal peak is that you're going to be working very diligently on your self-concept. You're going to be working very diligently on um, personal development, right? And while you're doing that, all the while you're doing that, you're going to continue to give reverence to the Most High. You're going to continue to be of service. You're going to continue to hone in on your craft and continue to build uh, yourself up. Almost like I'm getting like a reconstruction, like from the ground up, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, but that's just what I'm getting, like complete and utter reconstruction and being okay with starting over, being okay with starting fresh. And I don't mean completely from ground zero. What I'm getting is that just really shifting your identity, okay, completely and utterly, and really working on establishing sturdy foundations especially in your material wealth, right? And a lot of times that is based off of whether we feel worthy of achieving what it is that we want, right? Especially with the second house where it says physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth, right? So I feel like that's all going to be culminating at uh, during the peak of this Lionsgate 88 portal. Okay, so let's get into your reading pile number two. So we have card number 23 with healing the heart. So I'm getting there's a lot of change. There's a lot of release that's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of cathartic release, right? And I'm for some reason, I'm getting like visualization of the star card, you know, really soothing um, your proverbial wounds, so to speak, right? And there's going to be an emphasis on heart-based healing, on the heart chakra healing, okay? Because this person here, this angel here has a lot of green feathers. There's a lot of green, there's like a green aura around this person. So we have card number five, again, 23 is five. We have card number five with body and soul. Again, I feel like you're also going to start, um, doing like a self, uh, what is it called? An identity shift in regard, like from the inside out. Like first you're going to start with affirmations or something like that. First you're going to kind of start with your mental and then you're going to start placing emphasis on your body, on moving your body, on having that body and soul and heart coherence, right? That's what uh, spirit and, you know, the divine wants you to work on right now. And then our last card is card number 20, a merry motive. And I feel like because you guys have assessed in the recent past, you've reassessed your why. You, you've reassessed what you're doing all this for. And it's almost like you've had to reassess because you kind of forgot pile number twos. You kind of forgot 
Why do I want the things that I'm asking God for? Why do I want the things that I'm asking um, of myself for? Why do I really want them? And I feel like a lot of you all have maybe had some kind of like challenging awakening moments that really shifted your state of mind. Like I can no longer move forward like this, right? I can no longer move forward doing things how I've been doing them because they just don't work anymore. Okay. So I'm just getting complete identity shift. Like almost like if you isolated yourself for six months in a healthy way, right? <laughs> in a healthy way, put your head down, got your work done. Who would you be? You know, how proud of yourself would you be for like really focusing on one thing and accomplishing it to the very end? Okay. But let's, let's get some more cards here. So we have, uh, wait, let's wait for these. We're going to pull the spirit allies card. So let's see. We have card number 12 with Shaketzel. Ch I'm so sorry, y'all. Shaketzel. I think this is the goddess's name. And then we have card number 29 with Iboga. So we have an herb or like a plant medicine. And then we also have a goddess. Okay. I'm getting Native American energy from her. And there is butterflies surrounding her alongside the peacock. So that is um, indicative of change, right? That's indicative of growth and transformation. And really like honoring the beauty that you can produce from the inside out. And like, you know, knowing that change and transformation is a beautiful thing, right? And knowing that you can continue to cultivate the beauty within you and around you. Yeah. So her name is pronounced Sho Shi Ketzel. And her affirmation is I see beauty in everything. Exactly. And card number 29 speaks about, I see the medicine in difficult experience. Exactly. So yeah, I feel like you guys are transmuting yourselves from a lot of difficult experiences that you may have gone through over the past, you know, over the recent past or, um, however long you've been dealing with, you know, trying times. But let's get into your tarot. So I love this. We have the full 2.0. What did I say? Complete identity shift, right? You're becoming your 2.0 version or your 3.0 version or your 3.5 version or your 4.0 version, okay? You are taking that leap of faith again on yourself because you know you're worth it, pile number um, twos. Uh, and what a leap it'll be. We have the queen of wands. We have the strength card. Come on, eight. And the infinity symbol here with the full 2.0. We have the ten of swords. We have five of wands. And hold on, let's shift this around a little. Last card, we have the Hierophant. Yeah, you've been through like a, um, a spiritual upgrade. You've been through like a spiritual, um, not even awakening, just like an initiation pile number twos. And sometimes initiations aren't the easiest to go through, right? In anything, think about a fraternity, think about a sorority, think about something that you really had to put time, effort, dedication, humility, and set your ego aside in order to traverse to the other side of the destination that you wanted to get to, right? This is what's playing out here. And I feel like during the peak of this 8-8 portal, you're going to see how worth it it all was, right? So with the Hierophant, the full 2.0, the Queen of Wands, Strength card, Ten of Swords, and the Five of Wands, I feel like finally you've kind of reached the end of a rough, turbulent situation that you had kind of been playing a little tug of war with yourself, right? 
it's almost like cognitive dissonance was happening with this five of wands. Like you, you told yourself, you kept telling yourself, Oh, I really want this thing. I really want to, you know, be like this and look like this and act like this and have this type of success. But what you were saying wasn't really matching up with your actions. But now I feel like you're about to put almost like your money where your mouth is, right? You're about to put your actions behind the words that you say. And sometimes we have to experience cognitive dissonance in order to have that awareness that, oh man, what I'm actually, I'm not aligned with the things that I say I want. And sometimes we just need those revelations, right? And that's what I feel like is happening for you uh, during the peak of the 8-8 Lionsgate uh, portal pile number um, twos. You're coming to that realization. You have reassessed your why. You have not only just reassessed it, but you have um, reestablished it. And you're starting to make moves, take action towards... Um, producing the life that you want, right? Because you're the producer of the life that you say you want. You can't just be an idle bystander, right? So yeah, that's a lot of heart healing. I feel like you've been through a lot of heart healing, especially with the Hierophant and their green background, right? You know, it's almost like that Rumi quote, you have to keep breaking your heart in order to open it. And once you open your heart, you know, it will lead you to where you, you need to be and to where you're destined to be right now, pile number two. So that's really beautiful. A lot of heart healing during this um, eight, eight portal, during the peak of it. So let's see. Yeah, we have card number four. I feel like your emotions were in it. You were in the thick of it with cucumber, okay? Some of you all could be cancers or have cancer moons or have uh, maybe even your south node is in cancer. So you know all too well you're all too familiar with uh, emotional states, right? And being able to transmute those emotions or uh, being able to not even just transmute them, but feel them, right? Feel the emotions and let them kind of penetrate your existence. And we have our last card with card number 19, strength. We have the strength card twice. So some of you all might be Leos or some of you all just might really have embodied a lot of internal strength during the course of um, this healing process, pile number twos, you know. So if, if that is the case, kudos, you know, amazing job at uh, doing something that a lot of people, you know, are might not be able to do or you know might not have done yet is what i'm trying to say okay and so a lot of green even these two cards these two uh green witch oracle cards they're green a lot of green maybe wearing green right now would be beneficial for you um, even with the, um, tiger's eye tower crystal, I feel like, you know, I chose tiger's eye in most of the piles. If I had another tiger's eye, I would have, uh, chose them on all the piles just to, you know, get the Leo energy, the, you know, Lionsgate portal energy up and flowing, but you are a warrior. You are, you know, you're no longer the prey. You know what I'm saying? You, you're you the lioness. You are the lion. Okay. You see what you want and you go for it and you're protected. And not only are you just protected, but you really um, stand in your truth. And I feel like you're starting to stand in your truth more and more and not hide yourself and not hide away from things that you deem might be too scary or too intimidating or too too much, you know? But I do feel like some of you all may have went through a dark night of the soul where like your conscious and your subconscious mind were just playing these tug of war games with you, okay? But let's end your reading pile number twos with some life purpose oracle cards. Tell us more spirit for our pile number twos. Manifestations and predictions coming in for pile number twos during, during this Lionsgate 88 portal peak. Okay, so we have support. Yeah, you're very supported. 
my dears. You're so loved. You're so supported. It might even bring tears to your eyes. It might really open your heart and just, you just feel it in the center of your heart, how supported you are. Okay. It says your life purpose fully supports you. So continue to just be you pile number twos. Continue to just be that motivating factor in your life and in the, in the life of others, because you know, it helps. It moves the needles. It moves the needle, whether you think it, it does or not. Tell us more, Spirit. Manifestations and predictions for pile number twos during the peak of this Lion's Gate 88 portal. Manifestations and predictions. Okay, we have leadership. Take charge of the situation. I feel like you have done that, or you will by the peak of this. You're taking charge of the situation. And look, spiritual initiation. You see this warrior is being crowned by this angel. And we have the Hierophant here. You're moving up a, le a level, a notch, whether it be spiritually, whether it be financially, whether it be just personally, you're moving up a notch, okay? And that was that fear and anguish and, you know, that stuff that was bubbling to the surface. You had to experience that. That was like a signifier, of your spiritual initiation or of this um, up leveling, pile number twos. Tell me more, spirit. Predictions and manifestations coming in for pile number twos during the peak of this Lion's Gate 88 portal. Teaching. It says you inspire young people to learn. I love that. So you have a capacity to like really captivate the minds of the youth. And the youth. I'm sorry, I know it sounds cliche, but they're our future. You know, a lot of us who are my age, 30, 31, even in their late 20s, we're making the way for the generation that comes after us, right? And so it's really important for us to teach the youth that in reality, they hold the keys to their freedom. They hold the keys to their success. It's not contingent on an outside force. The only, it's contingent on that inner kingdom, right? It's contingent on that Christ consciousness. It's contingent on that positive mindset. It's contingent on the things that they work to control that's within their control, right? And once we really penetrate that into the minds of the youth in whichever way we seek that is of higher vibratory frequencies and energies and that's positive and that is of you know the light and also showing them in an educational way about feelings about emotions about emotional intelligence about how to transmute emotions they'll be unstoppable and we can equip the generation you know, that comes after us with this knowledge. And I feel like it, it's up to us. That's why God's spirit source energy is fully supporting your life's purpose because it has something to do with that pile number twos, okay? And then we have at the bottom of the deck, infinite abundant. You're fully supported yet again as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Like, you can't make this up. So yeah, pile number twos, what a reading, like, it was mind blowing. And I really hope that this reading resonated with you, that it helped you in any way, shape or form. And I really can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this reading in the comment section below. I love you all so much, my dreamy dreamers. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who you think could benefit from these readings. And if you're interested in a beautiful one of a kind tarot journal look no further the link to this journal will be in the description box down below it's gorgeous it's one of a kind and you can track your progress or you can track uh, the readings here on this channel or any other youtube uh tarot channels okay it's only 20 bucks and amazon will ship it straight to your house i love you so much my dreamy dreamers and until next time i will see you in our next reading bye
Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So before we get started with your pile selection and your crystal, let's shuffle for your reading. For those of you who would like to skip this part, your timestamp will be in the description box down below. So let's begin. I've already shuffled off camera. Predictions and manifestations coming pile number three's way during the Lionsgate 88 Portal Peak Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clear, concise, accurate predictions and manifestations coming pile number three's way during the Lionsgate 88 Portal Peak Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages, manifestations, and predictions coming pile number three's way during the Lionsgate 88 Portal Peak. Let's do this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number three spirit in regards to predictions and manifestations coming their way during the Lionsgate 88 portal peak. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. All right, pile number threes. Let's begin your reading, my dears. Okay, so you all chose the square with a challenging situation and a mountain to climb, okay? Alongside the star. So the golden stone star, excuse me. So with this square transit, I feel like you will be overcoming a challenging situation in a mountain that you are climbing prior to this, prior to the peak of the Lion's Gate 88 portal, right? With the golden stone star, this could have been something in regards to like your career, commerce, um, your business, right? Work, you know, again, career. It could have, you know, your work situation, your finance situation has been illuminated. And I feel like it hasn't been what you have wanted it to be, pile number threes. But I feel like there's a shift coming because with the square, I feel like you've already kind of reached the peak of the challenge. Now you're kind of like on the descent, right? But let's let's get into your reading because I'm, I'm very curious, pile number threes. Okay, so let's see. We have card number 45, Beyond the Ordinary. Love that for you. We have card number 29, Awakening Genius. Whenever I get these two cards together, it's very profound. So pile number three is brace yourself because I feel like this is going to be a very pro profound reading. There's a lot of activations happening here and there's a lot of... Um, aha moments happening here especially with beyond the ordinary and awakening genius i feel like something that you're trying to do is not like what everyone else is trying to do it just isn't it's different it's innovative it's unique and it's going to take um a commitment and longevity so we have card number 32 with quieting the mind. Yeah. So I feel like you could have been experiencing an influx in like mental chatter lately. Maybe you've kind of stopped meditating or stopped doing like something mindful, like mindfulness or something like that, that would kind of help you to kind of quiet the mind, uh, still your mind. I'm getting peace be still because I feel like maybe you've just had a lot on your brain because of what it is that you're trying to accomplish, something you're trying to build here, right? And it's interesting because it's almost like this figure here, or this person here is turned away 
from their genius is turned away from their guides really trying to solidify and tell them something right and it could be because their mind just isn't steel their mind just is not quiet right now and i feel like your guides are really trying to talk to you and will really be coming to the surface uh during this eight eight portal pile number threes and it's going to be awakening something in you that you haven't felt in a while if ever okay so let's see let's get some additional information so we have card number 14 angel light what did i say these guides they're ready they're ready to like really they really want you to hear what it is that they have to say okay we have card number 14 one and four that's five we have card number 32 three and two that's five okay so there's a heavy emphasis on change happening in your life and then we have card number 36 three and six is nine four and five is nine and then we have the nine and the 29 so wrapping up old cycles completing something right we have the san pedro cactus here with this <clears throat> okay so yeah we have the san pedro cactus here pile number threes so let's get a little disclosure about these this stone and this plant so it says i am attuned to my third eye and psychic abilities i feel like some of y'all's third eye you could be turning away from it's like i don't hear i don't see you know i don't speak like you've been turning away from like what makes you you which is your telepathic tendencies your telepathic um gifts or something like that and it's because you haven't been stilling your mind that much you haven't been meditating and i'm not saying everyone has to meditate in order to bring out their psychic gifts no but it makes them stronger because when your mind is at ease you think about someone who has lost um a sense right whether that's seeing whether that's hearing whether that's taste the other senses become stronger so that's what i'm getting like when you quiet your mind, when you stop that perpetual mental, chat, mental chatter and that ruminating, then your third eye is able to pick up on things beyond the veil very instantaneously, very quickly, more and, and more accurately. So, okay. So let's see. Card number 36, we have san pedro cactus i'm stepping into my desired reality exactly you're no longer turning away from um your destiny which is the genius that lies inside of you okay and i feel like something has been lying dormant for quite some time and now there's no way you can't you can't turn away from this anymore pile number threes okay this is very miraculous but let's see let's get some tarot here okay so we have the high priestess card number two hello your spidey senses are tingling i feel like you are awakening your third eye again and look at how similar like this is the high priestess this awakening genius card look at how similar their little headpiece is to one another yeah you're awakening to you know just your destiny the part of your destiny that maybe you've been like a little nervous about a little nervous about even perpetuating you know you might dabble in it you might really um lean into it but you haven't really put your heart and your soul into moving forward with this gift we have card number 17 the star yeah and i feel like it's going to lead you to wish fulfillment it's going to lead you to your wildest dreams it's going to lead lead you to not only your healing but ancestral healing right we have the queen of cups okay some of you are water signs pisces cancer scorpio naturally intuitive naturally empathic right we have eight of wands it's coming in very quickly <laughs> file number threes 
And look, again, trying to run away from this. I don't even think you're, I don't even think you're aware that you're trying to run away or you were trying to run away from your gifts. It wasn't like you were even conscious of running away from the gifts. You were doing things unconsciously that were almost like preventing your gifts from prevailing, if that makes sense. We have page of pentacles, but I feel like you're now seeing the light. You're seeing things clearer. And I feel like you want to start over. You know, you want to learn more. You want to have more um, experiences when it comes to your own gifts, right? You want to learn more about your gifts. You want to implement. You want to plant seeds. You want, the, you want them to grow, right? You could be taking up an apprenticeship with like a mentor or like a mentor type figure uh, in order to continue to accelerate and awaken your genius as this card would suggest pile number threes but this is this is very it's a very amazing story here unfolding and so our last cards is the two of swords okay so i feel like you're coming to a point where you're literally ultimately deciding on your path stepping into your destiny or you know taking another route but I think it's interesting because this person, and which I'm getting is you, pile number threes, you are stopping the choice of not being able to see, right? Or what I'm also getting here too is that you're not, you're no longer leading by the 3D definition of seeing, which is just with your two eyes, right? You're almost like you're leading by faith, not by sight, right? And I feel like intuition, psychic abilities is a form of practice faith. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's why this tiger's eyes are closed here, right? You're quieting your mind. You're becoming more peaceful. You're becoming more tranquil. I'm getting like, you know, the, the saying still waters run deep definitely this with the two of swords uh and you're coming to an ultimate decision on being able to establish boundaries and protect your heart but allowing faith to continue to lead you in your process right and again we have two major arcanas here with the high priestess and the star this is a part of your destiny pile number threes you can't negate that you can't I, well, I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't do, but I feel like spirit, your ancestors, your guides, your angels don't want you to, they want you to lean into it for real this time. They want you to put everything into your gift because if you do, it will pay off in dividends. Invest in yourself, you know, learn from others, be curious about how to heighten and awaken the genius that's within you. And I feel like you already know what to do which is quieting the mind, which is more stillness, which is uh, yoga, which is um, more um, meditation in, in any of the sense, even if that's uh, mindful meditation, which is you being mindful of everything that you do in the course of a day, right? You don't have to just sit and meditate. And with mindfulness meditation, you meditate for longer, you know? So let's... Um, Let's get more information. So we have card number 31 with luck. I feel like luck is on your side. You're very blessed. You're highly favored pile number three. So there should be no reason to run away from your destiny because your destiny, God, spirit, source, energy has your back, right? Card number 31, three and one, that's four. Okay. So I feel like there's more stability coming in. There's more um, alignment and attunement coming in with the things that you want okay oh then we have card number 30 with love tomatoes you're oh i'm getting very emotional right now i just feel like you're very loved you're very loved by your by god first ultimately you're very loved by the people around you and in your community, and you're very loved by your guides, by your angels. They want you to succeed. That's why they that's why you have been bestowed this gift. 
because they believe in you so much, pile number threes, to the point where they would trust something so profound with you, if that makes sense. And it's interesting because we have card 30 and 31. So that's another figment of alignment right there. So let's let's cut the malarkey. <laughs> let's get into some more details, okay? Predictions and ma um, manifestations coming in to our pile number threes during this Lionsgate 8-8 portal spirit. Manifestations and predictions coming in for our pile number threes during the peak of this Lionsgate 8-8 portal. A lot of pink too pile number threes you could be wearing a lot of pink or like seeing a lot of pink everywhere pinks and blues predictions and manifestations for our pile number threes during the peak of this lion's gate eight eight portal spirit oh maybe we're done with the reading okay hold on we have speaker some of you ha guys have the natural gift of oration of speaking of captivating an audience it says your life purpose involves your skill of oration okay so a lot of you all can be practicing your speaking abilities practicing your public speaking abilities and skills and a uh, spirit is is telling you to lean in on that lean in that that could be one of your gifts if not many right we have music your connection to music is healing for yourself and others okay and again, same type of color scheme here. One more card spirit. So music could play a role. Maybe like um, you have some type of singing ability, uh, maybe classical music, violins. You've been listening to, listening to a lot of classical music lately, pile number um, threes, which really helps to quiet your mind, right? Because there's not like lyrics or things that you have to think about, you know? You just have to feel this type of music. Okay, one more card, Spirit. Predictions and manifestations coming in for pile number threes. We have career change, okay? So it says you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. Yeah, so this could be changing an aspect of how you do your career. It doesn't necessarily have to mean you change your entire focus or your ent your entire um, discipline, right? But what I'm getting is that you can start incorporating more music. You can start incorporating more eloquent speech into your career. You can start incorporating these elements like public speaking, like oration, like music therapy into your career. And it's going to give you more joy. It's going to give you more abundance that you want and that you ultimately deserve, pile number threes, okay? And we have counseling at the bottom of the deck and it says you heal with kind words, wise advice and an empathetic ear. Exactly. So, um, again, a speaker, you're, you're very fluid in the way you speak or maybe just when you talk, people listen, period. So beautiful, beautiful reading pile number threes, you know, your luck has done, done a 180. People love you. They care about you. They'll do anything for you. And I feel like your God will do anything for you. Your angels, ancestors, and guides will do anything for you. Just ask and be open to receiving the blessings that you that you require, desire, and deserve, pile number threes, okay? So with that being said, my dreamy dreamers, I love you all so much. What a beautiful reading. I really hope this message resonated uh, with someone. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who will benefit from the messages provided here today if you all are interested in a beautiful one-of-a-kind tarot journal look no further the link to this journal will be in the description box below it has a, a really cool introduction into the major arcana minor arcana it has some really great spreads and just like showing you if you're new to tarot how you know how to work it, you know, and um, it's really great if you guys want to keep track of the readings here on this channel or any other channel you frequent here on YouTube. Um, okay, so I love you all so much. Until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. 
Hey, pile number fours, welcome back to your reading. So before we get into your pile selection and your crystal, let's shuffle some cards, okay? If you all um, if you all want to bypass this section, your timestamp will be in the description box down below. I've already shuffled off camera. So let's begin. Predictions and manifestations coming to pile number fours during this Lionsgate 88 portal peak. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for the predictions and manifestations coming the way of pile number fours during this Lion's Gate 8 8 portal peak. Thank you. Thank you. Manifestations and predictions coming to our pile number fours during this lion's gate eight eight portal peak spirit okay predictions and manifestations coming to our pile number fours during the peak of the lion's gate eight eight portal Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, awesome. All right, pile number four. So let's begin your reading. Okay, so you all chose the Scorpio card with intensity, exposing, purging, and renewing. So I feel like you guys are diving deep this uh, Lionsgate portal and it's gonna come to the peak on the 88 portal. I feel like, um, you know, there's a lot of transformation here, especially due to the sign Scorpio. Scorpio represents the death card in the major arcana, which represents, you know, a uh, transformation, shedding the old and a rebirth, right? The phoenix rising from the ashes, so to speak. And, uh, you know, just shedding your own skin, your old skin for a more, for newer, vibrant one, right? And what I'm getting is, you know, maybe in the beginning of the 8-8 portal, I mean, well, not the 8-8 portal, in the beginning of the Lionsgate portal, there could have been this uh, twinge of intensity just come out of nowhere. And you might have felt yourself purging, crying a lot, really going deep into the subconscious um, of your psyche, right? And I feel like a lot was like, made to come bubbling up to the surface so you could address them now instead of pushing them down or suppressing them or waiting to address them. I feel like all of it happened for a reason. Everything that you might have purged out or you might have felt sad about or you might have been crying about uh, happened for a reason so you could uncover them. And once they came from the subconscious to the conscious, that's half the battle, right? And then as long as you're aware, you're able to address, assess, and renew like this card would suggest, okay? And with this mini tiger's eye crystal, you're protected all the way. Your heart is protected. Everything that you know um, you love near and dear is protected. So you're protected while you do this purge. You're protected while you really um, expose the lingering uh, things in your subconscious mind and in your psyche, okay? Because Scorpio is good with that. They're you know, the Scorpio energy is uh, experts at diving deep into the subconscious programming and the depths of us, which aren't so pretty at times. OK, so let's get into your reading pile number four. We have card number 49 with willing release again, more transformation, more releasing. I feel like a lot of you all have done a deep purge pile number uh, fours and card number 49 four and nine together, that's 13. I feel like there's like, I'm getting Persephone energy. I'm getting underworld energy. I'm getting, um, you know, the dark feminine, right? Because 13 is representative of the goddess energy. So I'm getting like that dark feminine that just needed to purge something. And it doesn't matter if you're male, female, or how, whoever, however you subscribe, or, you know, to, it doesn't matter. That dwells within each and every one of us. And 
um, releasing and being willing to release the pent up things that have been left lingering inside of us for how, no matter how long is just going to help. It's cathartic. It's going to f- make us feel better in the long run. You know, maybe not the short term, but in the long term, it's going to make us feel a lot lighter. Uh, and we have card number 22 with tender embrace. I love this. Two and two, that's four. So I feel like people have your back. You really have loved ones. Uh, you can have a partner or someone just really close, a mom, a dad, a sibling, uh, a, a son, a daughter, a niece, a nephew, whomever, a grandparent uh, who just really love you and will support you through thick and thin. And, um, you know, even through the mess. And I say the mess because we have these elephants here and they're kind of like they have paint on them, you know, and it's like um, you're so loved and you're so supported. And, you know, people just want you to be happy and okay. And, um, yeah, people have your back, not just people, your, uh, God has your back, spirit has your back, your angels, your ancestors and guides have your back. And I think you, you're probably going to realize that more than ever during the peak of this Lionsgate 88 portal. Okay. Wow. We have card number 20 with a merry motive. And I feel like exactly like all of this had to happen because Again, we talk about portal, right? And there's this portal opening up in this little forest. And I feel like you know your motivations now, right? Especially with the people who love you. You know, they love you because you give something to them, right? That maybe others don't. And not just because you give something to them, but that's like the emphasis that's placed on... um the way they feel about you. And this could be anybody like you could just, you just being there, you just being in the room with them can make them feel special, can make them feel loved, can make them feel at ease. Right. You have that way about you pile number four. So what I'm getting here is like, you had to reassess that merry motive. You know, you had to reassess. Okay. I, I was holding in so much. Why, why was I doing that? where did it start? Where did it begin? Right? Why, why is, why was this even a thing? Right? And I feel like for a lot of you all pile number four is, um, some of you all might have came from another pile because I feel like pile number four is connected in a way to, to a, another pile. So if you guys were kind of like wavering between this pile and, and an additional one, one, two, or three, I would definitely go back and choose the other pile and see if there's a, another message there for you. Okay. So, yeah. So, let's get into some more details on the manifestations and predictions coming into your life during this AA portal. Oh, oh my gosh. We have card number 56, Scorpio. So, yeah, some of you all might be Scorpio, sun, moon, rising. Some of you all might have a lot of Scorpio just in your chart in general. But, yeah, you have to face something that was deeply ingrained, okay, pile number fours. I didn't expect this card to come out at all. So, card number 56, Scorpio. And Scorpios have no problem with going deep. So, again, I feel like you you really went there. It was like Degrassi, you know, for those who know, know. <laughs> um, it, it goes there, right? You went there uh, during this A8 portal or you will go there th- during this A8 portal, but it's going to be amazing. It's going to be really cathartic. Like I just keep getting the word cathartic. Like it's going to be a, a sweet release, right? So let's see. Oh, wow. We have card number 36 with San Pedro. Yeah, this has something to do with your destiny, something to do with you being able to go deep and feeling comfortable with going deep and, you know, really delving into um, the undercurrents, you know, if that makes any sense, really delving into the deep blue penetrating waters where you cannot see ahead of you. You know what I mean? But yeah, there is, again, there's this divine feminine energy um kind of bubbling up to the surface and i feel like you're not going to take much crap anymore even from yourself pile number four is okay so that could be a word for somebody because y'all aren't taking it you're like i'm done 
I'm done with the BS. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. So I feel like the Scorpio energy, this drudgery that was left in you is, is now coming to the surface and it's really going to help you to propel you to your destiny with the San Pedro cactus is like being willing to fulfill the call of your destiny. You can't run from it anymore. So we have the Ten of Cups, lovely. This could have something to do with family, family lineage, something like that. We have the Will of Fortune, beautiful. Ten Ten, dang, a lot of you guys could be seeing Ten Ten a lot lately. Again, with this snake here, a metamorphosis is happening and occurring. We have the Three of Swords, yeah. You guys were going through it, pile number fours. I love you guys, if no one's told you that today. Queen of Wands, the Hermit, and our last card, we have the Five of Swords, okay? So yeah, you guys could have been feeling this energy the most. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know what's going on with Scorpio in regards to like astrological transits, Check out uh, your natal chart and see where Scorpio like lands in your natal chart. I know mine's is ascendant, and I know I was feeling the beginning of this eight uh, of this Lionsgate portal. Excuse me, pile number four, and this full moon, and it was like a couple days prior to the full moon. It wasn't on August first, and I felt it. Like I felt a purge happening. So I I resonate with this pile. Uh, but with the Ten of Cups, the Will of Fortune, the Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Hermit, and the Five of Swords, I feel like this had a lot to do with like some subconscious uh, family. How can I put it? Almost like family. I don't want to say traumas, but like family. Um, what do what do they say? What's that saying? It's so popular too. It's like um, ancestral. It's not ancestral. It's like um, damn, I forgot pile number fours. But it has something to do with like your upbringing, like your family lineage, like something that happened maybe when you were a child, and your overall happiness and well being when it has when it has something to do with the with the family unit, right? I feel like um, you might be destined to put the stop to certain, um, oh gosh, I can't believe I'm having the biggest like brain fart right now. It's like, I guess like, yeah, ancestral wounds or traumas, like that's all I can think about. But it's like a pattern, right? You're releasing ancestral patterns. And with card number 10, the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like um, now is the time. It, 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 now is the time. This is divine timing happening on your part, okay? With the Three of Swords, I feel like there has been a lot to come to the surface. I feel like you've been really dealing with the heart of the matter in regards to like what you've been dealing with from past wounds, right? And I feel like, I just feel like there was a lot of crying. There was a lot of crying out, Um for what was kind of like expelling out of you, pile number fours. With the Queen of Wands, I feel like you were holding something in so much, you were being very brave to the point where like, you made something look effortless. Like from the outside looking in, people couldn't tell that you were going through anything because you made it look so easy. You made whatever you were doing or dealing with look effortless, but it wasn't by any stretch of the imagination. Now with the hermit, I feel like you needed, you really just needed some time alone to like do some introspection and to do some spiritual cleansing from the inside out. And with the five of swords, I feel like um, you could have been a little combative, you know, it could have been a little combative to the people who, you know, loved you and cared about you or felt just defeated. You know, there could have been this defeated type energy that kind of penetrated you. But I feel like, you know, 
there was a light shed pile number fours for you and everything that you went through you needed to go through because it made you into this queen of wands it made you perceptive it made you look towards the light again right it made you shine your light and your spiritual understandings uh for the things that you know you've gone through and you kind of had to traverse a mountain uh, in order to see the view ahead. And I feel like although you could have felt like defeated at one point, you came through the other end better. You know what I mean? And also with this Wheel of Fortune, I'm getting like, you know, now is the time to really go all in with your destiny, with your calling, with the things that you tell yourself and other people that you want, okay? So let's let's see. Let's get some more information on this reading. Yeah, so we have card number 39 with longevity, chrysanthemum. So yeah, and see, look, we have a clock here. And there's kind of like a clock... Um, well, it looks like a clock to me inside this Wheel of Fortune um, here. So it's it's now. And I feel like brace yourself for what it is that you're asking for because it's going to take work. It's going to take dedication. It's going to take the long road, right? Because you're not looking for short-term gratification. You're looking for long established uh, success here. So it's either you're going and more Scorpio energy. OMG. Yeah. Yeah. You guys need to definitely take notes, get out your handy dandy tarot journal or a sheet of paper or something. Take notes on this. Um, take notes on this um, pile, pile number four, because this is very important. There's hella Scorpio imagery here. It just, it won't stop. <laughs> so, there could be a Scorpio reoccurring in your life, coming back in your life uh, to maybe teach you something. Maybe it might bring back some old wounds that you thought were closed up. But I feel like whatever this is, I just really feel like it was a deep purging. I'm really I'm shocked we don't have the death card here because I really feel like this is just symbolic of like a death and a rebirth, a renewal that's happening in your soul. And now is just the time to like stop talking about the things that you want to release and stuff like that and actually do them. Put action behind those words of yours. OK, yeah. Yo, card number 27 with cleansing again. Yeah, some of you all probably came from another pile as well, pile number four. So you, yeah, it's basically, it's all here. You're purging, you're cleansing out your insides, uh, you know, you're cleansing out your emotional states, you know, and I feel like you really got to the heart of the matter when it came to something that, uh, really bubbled up to the surface during either this full moon in Aquarius or just in the midst of all these transits happening from the start of um, the Lionsgate portal until the peak of it on 8-8, okay? And, and I feel like you're going to be very blessed because ultimately this had to happen for you to reintegrate that why into your subconscious mind instead of having all hell break loose in your subconscious, that's just ultimately what I'm getting. So let's uh, conclude your reading with more information on predictions and manifestations coming your way during the peak of this Lionsgate 88 portal. So we have artists. Wow. So we have like the little card symbol, the front of the card. It says engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other aspect of your life. You're an artist, pile number fours. Maybe that's what you've been suppressing. And, you know, I know I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. But one thing that has been like continuously reiterated in the zeitgeist is that there's a fine line between creativity and intense emotions. I'll just say that, okay? Heightened emotions, heightened perceptivity, heightened sensitivity. That is basically the artist's journey. So there could be some transmutation that needs to happen when you're experiencing 
this type of like intensity in your emotions, uh, start using those emotions, start painting, start, you know, doing something creative because that's what's going to transmute the intensity of those emotions and make something beautiful out of them. So let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. So we already got some. We have crystals, your connections to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. Maybe making jewelry, maybe making art with crystals, maybe painting uh, crystal geodes or something like that. Maybe incorporating crystals if you guys are musicians into your lyrics or your music or doing sound bowls or doing sound baths. And I'm literally getting the chills just saying that. So I say all that to say uh, using crystals in your artwork in tandem could be really beneficial for you uh, during this time. Pile number um, four is particularly amethyst, right? Amethyst is like one of the best healing crystals. So, okay. One more card spirit to conclude pile number four is reading manifestations and predictions coming pile number four is way during the peak of this Lionsgate gate eight portal author again a lot of a lot of people on this channel who resonate with this channel they have a book in them okay including you pile number four so it says you have a book inside of you wow that literally is what that says that wishes to be expressed make the time to write it exactly some of you all could be writing about crystals and like uh, maybe even displaying artwork or a uh, crystal symbol symbolism in your book okay some of you all might know an artist who can illustrate um maybe like a book cover or something like that. And it could be like, you know, you could use crystals or crystal forms or a geode as like a part of the artwork so that it could be like a, um, what is it called? Like a um, coffee table book. And it could be like a really beautiful statement piece that people could have in their, in their homes on their coffee table. And it could be like a conversational piece, you know, like books. Yes, they're meant to be read, but the cover of a book is also meant to be admired and to, you know, pique people's interest. So this could be a signifier pile number fours, even if you, you know, make maybe your own crystal art or your own art that you produce and turn it into like a book cover. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that could be really beneficial for you. Work on your book transmute the energy of the intense emotions into something beautiful into something that is a creative pursuit and that will really help you tremendously pile number fours so yeah my dreamy dreamers i love you all so much that is all the time that i have for this reading if you like this reading if it resonated with you pile number fours please like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today if you all are interested in a gorgeous one-of-a-kind tarot journal look no further the link to this journal will be provided in the description box down below it's so awesome it's kind of like a little mini book too that just gives you all the descriptions and details about the major arcana the minor arcana making your own tarot deck like who doesn't want that so cop yours it's only 20 bucks and amazon will ship it straight to your house so i love you so much my dreamy dreamers and until next time i'll see you in your next reading bye